Yo, yo, welcome back everybody. Uh, today I've managed to find a couple more juicy clips uh, from my favorite podcast. A lot of uh, some of the faces you'll recognize and just walk with them in this discovery process, which I believe is unfolding. I do think eventually they're going to sort of discover internet computer which is what we're covering exclusively on this channel um, but with an icp lens i hope you all enjoy sort of a montage again it is from today and yeah leave your comments i guess below and see you in the next video there's a value being created here that is so great that yeah. I don't think everybody's going to roll their own like Friedberg because they're going to be like, you know what? This is so great. It's 6000 a year. F*** it. YOLO. I'll just buy it. It is today. And yeah. in five years, just like we're all going to, and we're all using uh, chat-like interfaces more frequently. Yeah. You go to your chat-like interface and eventually you realize you can ask it to build some tool for you that does something. And it renders the tool and it makes it possible and it stands it up in production and suddenly you're using it at your company. And then you ask it to do another tool and it does it exactly to spec and you define the UX you want, you define what you want it to do, and it works and it interoperates, but you and really clearly and really cleanly with the other tool. And there's a big aspect of this where you can start to build all of the software infrastructure that you as an organization want. Right, but I think you and, Aaron, you and Aaron mentioned this though, the extreme difficulty is not that front end part. That's easy. It's like, I think it's less than three or 4% of the work. The 96% of the work is how you actually integrate it in the back end and how do Today. you provision it? How Today. do you have controls and how do you do security? Because right. if those things fail and those are implemented in a bot in a highly regulated market, as an example, you may not actually be allowed to operate. Let's go through that example. And let's say that you're in a bank and you tell the AI, figure out all the security and permissions and, and authority rules that are necessary for me to operate as a bank, and it can actually render it. The price that Aaron or me or anybody else pays these model makers will effectively yes. go to zero. Yeah. You know how much the world spends on software and software related things every year? It's about $5 trillion. So there's like, call it like a trillion and a half of software licenses, a trillion and a half of consulting and a trillion and a half of IT folks inside of companies, plus or minus a little bit more, you get about 5 trillion and that's compounding 13% a year. I, I'm pretty sure that the market here shrinks by an order of magnitude. The, the only reason is that I think that as, as we delever the software development process from humans, I think the unit cost of creating code effectively becomes so cheap that it's going to be very hard to differentially price these products the way that they are. So an, an example would be that, let's say you use, I don't know, pick your favorite piece of software. I, I don't want to pick on anyway. That's why. That Excel isn't valuable. It's incredibly valuable. It's what is the marginal cost of creating the Excel equivalent that is good enough that people switch. The marginal cost today is very expensive. And you can see that because it's what it costs Google to make sheets. But that's humans. So the real question is, if you have a legion of bots that works 24-7 incrementally and increasingly more accurately every day, the question is, what is the marginal cost? And I think the marginal cost of that is going to be very cheap. And when you do that, it's very difficult to price it anywhere near the same. And the reason is that other companies will then replicate it and say, Hold on, if, if Excel wants to charge $100, I'll charge 50 and I'll take a lower margin. That's just but, supply but demand economics. The counter, and maybe you'd look at an ERP system or a CRM system or something else, like, like it, that, that is sort of- Like it those is, things are totally screwed. The software industrial complex today has to shrink because the stranglehold that it has on how companies run mm -hmm. is incredibly high for an experience that's incredibly poor. Hmm. Nobody, nobody raises their hand and says, gosh, this piece of enterprise software that I use in my day-to-day -day life is as yeah. good as Instagram or TikTok. Nobody says that. We are completely promiscuous in how we use models. And the reason is because these models offer different 
cost quality trade-offs at different points in time for different tasks. And so what we are seeing is a world where instead of having two or three models you rely on, you're going to rely on 30 or 40 or 50, and you're going to trade them off and you're going to use effectively like an LLM router to disin- you know, to load balance them. Yeah. And to route or them. just, to, yeah. or just to manage and route them. And then there's an yeah. intelligence above that. That's constantly tasking and figuring out prompt optimization across these models. So it's this thing where we were very reliant on open AI. Now we're reliant across three or four. Ideally, we'll be reliant on 30 or 40. Lastly, to add on that, I just want to say that the IT expenditure is about to be pretty much decimated um, if this plays out like caffeine AI and, you know, build your custom app over the course of an hour on your smartphone. That's that's going to be quite disruptive. And the fact that, you know, we have applications like OpenChat running this whole time with no firewall, no cybersecurity, um, that's a huge price savings alone and that about 20%. And you you start to check some of these boxes about these activities your AI agent is going to be able to do and you just realize, holy shit, this is a lot of the things that I pay for my first assistant to do, this thing's going to be able to do at one hundredth the cost and at a hundredth the speed.